I'm here with actor, writer, and part of the wonderful cast of American Fiction, Eric Alexander. Welcome Thank to the Oscars. You, Thank you, Chris. I'm excited to be here. This is your first time at the Oscars, Eric. It absolutely is. First time. I've been 30 years living single, the character I'm most known for, and 40 years in the business, and here I am. What does this role mean to you in terms of the ambit of your Hollywood career? How would you rank it? I think I would rank it in um, the top everything because it actually has a uh, story that has to do with what I've been talking about as an activist, which is not being defined by stereotypical roles, not being held back by boxes, and also the marginalization of America. And this is American fiction in a nutshell. Is this the kind of movie from writer-director Corey Jefferson that could have been made in Hollywood 25 years ago or 20 years ago? It might have been, but I don't think so. And, and there's been plenty of people from Spike Lee to Robert Townsend to have these conversations. But it need his special secret sauce to put on it. And I think that the background being a journalist, a background being a writer about race, and certainly also being really frustrated with only being asked to do that made him very prepared to have this conversation. But the background also of having written in Late Night knew that he could put comedy together, so it's a great satire. When you first got a look at this script, it was not called American Fiction. <laughs> it was a four-letter word we're not going to mention here. And you were told you were going to be the, the girlfriend of Jeffrey Wright's character. What kind of movie did you think you were getting yourself in? I thought I was getting myself into nine and a half weeks. I was thinking about blue light. I was stretching, thinking about I shouldn't eat so much. Get Sit-ups, right? Get ready for that Marlon Brando with Jeffrey Wright. It wasn't exactly what I expected, but it was better. It was better. What made working with Jeffrey Wright so special for you? Well, Jeffrey Wright is Jeffrey Wright. He's one of the best actors of all time. He's also a gentleman. He's kind. He's also working. He's curious about himself. He hasn't stopped working, and he's also very generous. So he set the tone, and we all came in, uh, came in Sterling K. Brown, Issa Rae, Tracy Ellis Ross, the great Nestle Uggams, and we did our thing. What's great about this movie is the way it shifts tone so quickly and goes back and forth, yes. and you're a huge part of making that happen. People stay who they are, even if it would be more convenient if they were other ones. That's right. And you know what? I love that he has so much good stuff in here, but at the end, people are laughing and great. And that switching back and forth from comedy to drama, the great Laura Cartman, who's nominated for our composition, is brilliant as telegraphing that. So there's a really fantastic crew and um, craftsmen that put this together. Erica Alexander, have a wonderful Oscars. Thanks for talking to us. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.